If you're trying to figure out what you need to carry with you when you go on vacation or travel with your Fuji X100V, then this is the video for you. Because today, I'm going to break down every single thing that's in my travel kit when I travel with the Fuji X100V. As always, before we get started, don't forget to check out my podcast. It's called Photobomb. It's available anywhere that podcasts are found. I guarantee you're going to enjoy it. Also, join me on Facebook. My group is called Pro Photo Talk with Boo Ray Perry, and it's a great group of people, photographers, and all we talk about is photography and support each other, and I guarantee you'll like it that so uh, like it there, so be sure and join. And give me a like, and give me a subscribe, and, and give me a comment, and give me a thumbs up, and, and give me all that other stuff. <laughs> all right. So... We're going to talk about my travel kit. I want to say first off, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I actually did a video about this like uh, I guess two or three years ago. I did a travel kit video and I'll put the link right up here. And this was back when I had the X100F. So why am I doing another one? Well, I've actually made some changes to my kit. Uh, there's some things I'm carrying now that I wasn't carrying before and some things I'm not carrying. I've made some changes and also I'm using the V. So I wanted to make a fresh video that breaks down everything that I carry with me all the time when I go on vacation. All right, so are you ready? Because there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> all right, here we go. First off, I carry my camera. The Fuji X100V, I don't need to tell you how wonderful this camera is, right? I'm assuming that you already own this camera and you know how much I love it and how much everyone seems to love this camera. This is my third X100. I had the S and then I had the F and now I have the V and when they come out with the next one, what will the next one be called, I wonder? It will be the sixth camera. The V stands for five. I wonder, that's a good question. What will they call the next one? I wonder if they'll just put a six on it. The, the 1006? All right. I digress. Uh, the first thing I put in my, my kit is my camera. Now, accessories on my camera. As you can see, I have uh, this uh, lovely leather holder. Now, this does not have a full cap hood that goes over because I didn't want that extra stuff to have to deal with but I did want something to protect the bottom of the camera because I noticed with my other cameras over time the bottoms got pretty scratched up and I also really like the vintage look of a nice leather case look at how beautiful that case is right and it feels good in the hand too it feels good on your on your hand so I'm a big fan of this and I also want to point out that everything I'm going to tell you about is all in the description I'll put a link to everything in the description and also a link to my gear page on my website which will show you not only everything that I'm showing you today but everything that I carry all my pro kit that bag behind me back there has got all my pro gear my Fuji X-T4 and my Godox flashes and all that it's all listed on my pages and if you use one of those links and you buy something from Amazon I get a couple of dollars and that really helps me to keep this channel alive so I really appreciate that all right so I love this and then there's the soft trigger I've had a lot of bad, bad experience with soft triggers I can't seem to keep them on the camera they're always coming off I've tried different ones and metal ones and different colored ones and right now I'm using this wood one because I like the wood and it goes with the leather and it's kind of that you know old school look but this one has come off at least twice I've found it in the bottom of a bag or someplace they come with a little rubber washer but I just they always seem to come off for me so I've got it on here now but there's no guarantee it will always be on there it's really a personal preference thing I've, I've thought about putting one on my my pro xt4 and and I never have because I just know it's gonna I'm gonna lose it <laughs> so um right now looks great and I like it so that's the accessories on my camera just base accessories that I carry with me everywhere I go now this is a new addition. I just added this this year. I just added the Fuji wide angle adapter this year to my kit. I, uh, I debated over this for a long time because one of the reasons that I bought the X100V was that I didn't want to have interchangeable lenses because I knew that if I had interchangeable lenses, I would want to carry interchangeable lenses and then I would be carrying too much stuff and then I would find myself not wanting to take my camera with me. And the best camera you can have is the camera that you have with you. So I wanted my camera to be as compact as possible. That being said, I found a good deal on this and I bought it and I love it. I didn't think it would be that big of a deal, but it actually does make a big difference, to, especially when you're close up. Like if you're taking a picture of someone who's sitting next to you, this will make a, a big difference. And there's a review. I'll put the link. I'm sorry, right up here. I'll put the link right there. You can go check out my review of this wide angle adapter. So I carry this wide angle adapter with me everywhere I go pretty much. 
And I find that many times it just stays on the camera all the time. And it does make the camera bigger. And I'm not fond of that and heavier, uh, but I do like it. Uh, this focal length does tend to work for me more often than the 35 millimeter focal length does. So this is the first accessory that's new to the kit this year that I'm carrying with me all the time. Now, in addition to this, I also carry a lens shield. This adapter actually has the bracket built in so you can put the lens shield on it right but if you want to put the lens i keep calling it a lens shield it's a lens hood if you want to put the lens hood on the camera normally you have to have an adapter so here's the adapter and then you can put this on here like that and that becomes your camera to carry around every day and that's beautiful but it's actually not what i do <laughs> i'm going to get to that in a minute having this adapter on your lens is important because it allows you to mount the other two accessories that i carry with me all the time now, one of them is my polarizing filter and i made a video about this i will put the link right up here about why this is such a great filter to have with this camera it really can change your pictures and make a big difference in what you're shooting it's not that expensive a polarizing filter is great a variable polarizing filter is a wonderful little accessory so small for you to throw it in your bag it's light you won't think twice about having it with you and so i carry this with me all the time and you can't put this on your camera unless you have this adapter but i also am carrying a straight old plain v uv filter and in the video that i just uh, pointed to a second ago i say that you don't need to carry a uv filter anymore because uh camera chips sensors and cameras today are not affected by uv light the way that negatives were so you don't actually you don't actually need a uv filter however with the Fuji X100V, it's a good idea to carry it because the Fuji X100V for the first time is weather sealed, but the only way to make it be completely weather sealed is to put a filter on the front of the camera. So if you are on vacation and say you're in Ireland or someplace that's misty, you're in London and there's rain and water and so forth like that, being able to put this filter on the front of your camera is going to weather seal your camera for you. All right, so it's a couple of bucks, right? I don't keep it on my camera all the time, but you know, for, to be able to weather seal your camera to have this in your kit, why not? So I do carry two filters with me now. I carry the polarizing filter and I carry the UV filter and I carry the adapter, which enables me to put those filters on the camera. With this adapter, I can also put this lens hood on the camera if I want to. This is the lens hood that I use on my wide angle adapter. But the lens hood I actually use on my camera most of the time is this one so i actually <laughs> i actually carry two lens hoods with me that's i know that's a little crazy right but this is the lens hood that i keep on my camera all the time it's the smallest it's the most inobtrusive it just screws straight on without the adapter so it doesn't make give you more length this way and this is my favorite lens hood i know a lot of, a lot of people like the square lens hood um i will probably buy the square lens hood if you if, if y'all buy some stuff and I get, I get a few dollars from this video, I'll use that to buy the, the square lens hood probably. I, I might as well own every lens hood that they have, right? Uh, but I do like this. I like the circular look of it. I've always liked it. It's very small and it's cool. So that one goes there. And then my wide angle just keeps this mounted on it all the time. And that protects the front. So if I switch, I can just unscrew the front, put this on, and I'm good to go. So there you go. There's my lenses, there's my lens hoods, there's my adapter. So what's the next big thing I carry in my bag? <clears throat> flash. Uh, there are always people who will say that me carrying this flash is just too much. There is a built-in flash in the camera and that built-in flash will do a uh, adequate job for you in that it will put some light on your subject. But I am a professional photographer and I cannot use direct flash. I just, I, I just can't do it. If I have to, if I'm outdoors and I can't go off camera with my light and I have to, I will. But otherwise, I'm always going to want directional light. I'm always going to want the light coming in from the side. Even now, as I'm making this video, look at the light on my face. You notice how this side of my face is not as dark as this side of my face? That's because the light is directional. I have a light sitting right here pointed at the wall and bouncing off and lighting me directional because it's just ingrained in me to have better light. And this little Godax flash, oh, it is just a dream come true for this camera because you can just turn it 
and point it wherever you want it to go. It's not expensive at all. Uh, uses two, I believe, AAA batteries. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful flash. And I've made an entire video about what you can do with this flash as well. And I will put that link, whoops, right here as well. And you can take, take a look at what you can do with this flash. But, um, you know, it, it's easy to carry. It, it, it does add some weight that I wouldn't mind getting rid of. But when that opportunity comes, and it may only come a couple of times when I'm on a trip where I want to take an actual, like, really good, well-lit picture with my camera as opposed to doing street-style photography in Candids, having this makes all the difference in the world. Now, there's one other thing that I also carry that I, I just realized I don't have it with me, but there's a remote that I have for this flash as well. Uh, and I will, if I'm carrying this flash, I will often carry that remote so I can go off camera with it if I want to. Uh, but that's really situational. I, I don't carry it in my bag all the time. If I'm carrying that remote, it's because I know that when I get where I'm going, I'm definitely going to want to go off camera, and so I carry that remote with me. So it's probably best that it's not really in this video. Uh, but it's a nice remote to have. It's under 100 bucks and, and lets you go off camera with full uh, TTL, so it's a wonderful little thing to have. The other thing I carry with me is this right here, a little dim flip it. This little bounce card is great. You mount it right on the end of your flash like this. Enables you to point your flash up at the ceiling, get the light coming down, bounce forward, get your fill light, uh, go off to the angles with it. It's a wonderful little tool to dim flip it. I own one, a uh, little tiny one for my uh, X100V and my uh, Godox, and I own a big one that I use with my Pro Kit when I shoot, and I never go anywhere without that. This is my tripod. Yeah. <laughs> I have a bigger travel tripod, right? I have a one that it folds down about that big and about that big around. And if I know I'm going to need a tripod, you know, like last weekend we had a family outing and I wanted to take a group picture of everybody. So I know I need a tripod. So I will take that tripod with me. But if I'm going on vacation, I don't carry it. It's too much weight and it takes up too much room. And I don't need a tripod all that often. Usually you only need a tripod if you're taking a picture of yourself, right? This little tripod right here, ah, the UltraPod, it's just, it's just perfect. It folds right out. It's all plastic. Lets you put your camera on a table, you know, whatever, wherever you need to set it. If you need to put your camera up high, this strap right here, this Velcro strap, if you can find a pole, you can wrap this around the pole and actually secure it to the pole and put your camera on it. I don't trust it. You know, that I don't trust that Velcro to be necessarily strong enough. So the last thing that I carry in my bag all the time is a bungee cord. This is just handy to have. You never know when you're going to need a bungee cord. You can strap that uh, tripod to a tree and then put, mount your camera on the tripod and take a picture of your family. You can use this to strap your bag to your luggage, right? It's just a handy, handy little thing to have is a little bungee cord thrown into your bag all the time. Which brings us to the bag. I am a bag person. I love bags. I love things that hold other things. I love jackets. I love containers. I love bags. I have a, you can't see it, but right off camera here, I have a tall wooden set of drawers with like six drawers. I love it. I don't think there's anything in the drawers. I just love that I have all these compartments for holding things. <laughs> it's really, really weird, right? But I do. I love them. I have one of those jackets that has 19 pockets in it. <laughs> and so you can bet... I did a lot of research when I was trying to figure out what bag I was going to use. And I finally settled on this, the Think Tank Mirrorless Mover. And this is the 30, right? Yeah, this is the 30i, the Think Tank's Think Tank Mirrorless Mover 30i. I'm a big fan of Think Tank's products. I use their, uh, this bag is Think Tank. That bag behind me on the table is a Think Tank bag. My uh, belt is a Think Tank belt. My bags on my Think Tank belt are Think Tank bags. Uh, that's a lot of time to say Think Tank in one video, but I'm a big fan of Think Tank. I think they make great products, well thought out products. So here's what's great about the mirrorless mover. First of all, another little accessory that I carry with me every right here is this Carson. See this? Hangs right there. You always have a rag for cleaning your lens. And I keep this, uh, not only do I have it here, but I have one hanging off my belt when I'm working professionally. So I always have a uh, lens cloth handy right there. So here's the first thing about this bag that makes it so wonderful. When you are carrying this bag at your side, like this, the flap opens out. See that? Such a simple thing. 
right? But every other bag you buy, like a messenger bag, is this way. And when you want to get into it, you have to fold the flap towards you and then hold the flap open with your arm while you're reaching in because your body is hitting it, right? So it fold, you, you fold the flap towards you. But with the think tank, you fold the flap out. So you can just flap it completely out like that and it's swinging in the breeze. You can't do that when it's against your body. It hits your body and it, folds, it keeps doing this to you, right? I love this because many times if I'm working or I'm doing taking pictures, whatever, I just leave it open. I can get it whatever I want. Just do that. No problem, right? So this is the genius of the bag. To me, it's so obvious and, and amazing that more messenger bags aren't made that open out like this. And the reason is because most messenger bags have a really big flap. And so that flap can't open out because it's just too big. So, you know, you'd have to tuck it in. So it has to be big on this side and it opens this way. But it really is a pain to use. So I love this. So here's what the inside looks like. These are movable, right? This one right here, you see this little pocket here? You can actually slide your cell phone in there. So it's got, I've got two in here, which gives me three slots. And then this right here is big enough for a tablet. I'll, I'll often carry a tablet in there. And then three slots here. And then there's a little Velcroed spot here, which as you can see, I keep uh, lens cleaning uh, wipes in here, not just for my cameras, but for my glasses as well. And then the front, this is ma this flap is magnetized. And it's just a big pocket right here. And it holds all the other stuff. So will it hold everything? Oh, you better hold everything. Um, but also inside of here, this is great, is a rain, uh, a rain hood. See this? That's a rain hood. You take that out, you can wrap the whole bag and completely secure it to keep the rain off of it if you get rained on. It's wonderful. Never had to use it, <laughs> but it's wonderful. All right, so let's see if we can pack it up. Camera. Let's see if I hold the bags here. Usually the camera's in the front pouch. Flash goes in the side pouch. The front bag will carry everything. Like that, zip it closed. I still have two pouches not being used. I can take this lens and put it in one of the pouches, or if I need that pouch, I can just mount that lens on the camera and then put the lens hood in the front, which is typically what I would do. So I could take this lens, put it on the camera, mount, put that in the front pouch, it will fit. And now I have two empty pouches. So my whole bag is packed. By the way, this goes in the back. Both, both ends of this bag have a, have a little uh, bag on them. So you put the, uh, there you go, put that in the back. And so this goes on the camera more than likely. And the camera goes here. And I still have, look, I still have all the room I still have. So if I'm flying, for example, I'm usually carrying my Bluetooth uh, headphones, so they go in there, and then a drink goes in the other pouch. So on a plane, I've got all my gear, plus my headphones, plus a drink, plus my little uh, tablet that I carry with me to look at movies and so forth, all in this little bag right here. Right? Beautiful. Now there's two more accessories, because you may notice that we haven't talked about my strap because there's no strap on my camera. Okay, so this is brand new for this year as well. If you look at the strap on this camera, on this bag, ah, come here you. This is not the strap that came with the bag. This bag comes with just a plain old black strap with a little shoulder guard on it. This is not the strap that came with the bag. This is a Peak Design strap. Peak Design straps attach using these anchor points and they're very easy to detach. So what I did was, I bought a Peak Design strap and I put two anchors on that bag. I removed the old strap, put two anchors on that bag and now my Peak Design camera strap is my bag strap. Because if I'm carrying my bag, I don't need a strap on my camera. My camera's just, the, 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 the bag is my strap. The camera just sits in the bag and when I need it, I pull it out, I take my picture, I put it back, right? But if I am on vacation, and I want to go somewhere and I just want to carry my camera, I don't want to carry my bag, I just want to travel really super light and carry my camera, I just take this strap off 
my bag, which is going to stay in my hotel room or whatever anyway. And then, see this right here? I attach this to this, and then I attach this to this. And now I have a sling strap. And I can just sling this across my body. And my camera slings right at my side. I love efficiency. And here, I'll show you. There you go. You see? Straps twisted because I didn't take the time to make sure it was right. <laughs> but I love the efficiency of this because I wanted a nice, big, thick, heavy strap that would really give me comfort and everything on this camera when I'm carrying it. But I didn't want that strap to take up a lot of room inside my bag. So how can I, how can I solve that? Well, I can solve that by making this strap my bag strap. And that's what I did. Now, there's one other accessory that I don't carry with me all the time, but I have carried it on occasion. If I know I'm going someplace, say I'm hiking, say I'm going to be spending the whole day walking all over New York City, and I'm going to carry that bag and everything in it, right? Then, what do you want to do then for a little extra comfort? And that's where this comes in. This is made by Domkey. Domkey is a famous bag manufacturer. Just forever, if you saw a reporter, you know, during the Vietnam War, you know, White House reporters, whatever, White House photojournalists, they were always carrying these Domkey soft bags. They're kind of a legend in the industry. And Domkey makes this special pad. And it's made, they actually call this the U.S. mail carrier bag. It is made for mailmen to carry their, who had to carry their bag all the time. I don't even know if those people exist anymore. Back when I was a kid, if you're my age, you remember that the mailman would walk from house to house delivering the mail. So, it's a wonderful pad, and you can see it's thicker. If you look at this end, and then you look at this end, it's thicker on one side because your shoulder, your shoulder slopes off, right? So you take this, you attach it in here with the thick side out, the thick side out here where your shoulder slopes, and boom, this becomes your pad. It's got Velcro. Take my word for it. You just take these, you put them right on your strap, and then you can put that right there. And it gives you extra padded, and it also takes it, and, and because of that, because it's extra thick on one side, it takes the strap, and you can see how the strap comes straight over now. Instead of the strap being at an angle, like this, because of the padding, the strap now comes straight over my shoulder. So this is a lovely little thing, and I bought this specifically because we went to New York, and I knew I was gonna be walking around New York City for three days with all my gear in a, in a bag, and I figured my shoulder was gonna to start to hurt. So I bought this, and it, and it was wonderful. It absolutely did the job. So this is the last accessory. I don't take it with me all the time uh, because, you know, you've got to, there's one more thing to keep track of. But if I know I'm going to be carrying my bag, then sure, I'm going to go with that strap. So that's it. <laughs> that's everything. I know this is kind of a meandering video, but if you're a fan of my channel, you should expect nothing else at this point. Uh, but that's everything that I carry in my bag all the time when I go on vacation. It all fits nice and neat. And this bag, camera goes right in there, as well as carrying my headphones and a drink and a tablet. This is my plain bag. Oh, and on the back here, you can see it's got this, this pass-through right here, so you can put it on the belt. But what I do is I take my bungee cord and I wrap it through there, and then I can just take this and strap it to my roll-on luggage. So it sits right on top of my roll-on luggage. And then when I get on the plane, I put the roll-on luggage in the overhead, I take this off and put it under my seat. And now I've got everything I need, snacks, whatever I need, right there. All right. Once again, be sure and subscribe to the channel and talk to me in the comments. Tell me what I forgot. Uh, tell me where I'm stupid. Tell me where I'm smart. I don't care. Let's have a conversation because I do love it when you guys uh, talk back to me. I really, really do. And thanks for watching.